If you always struggle, experience delay, if nothing works for you, you try all your best to make ends meet, but you always see disappointment. Everything you do is breaking. Everything you touch is not working. You have to say this prayer and bat with this. You have to do self-deliverance. You don't need to run her task -keter from one pastor to another. You are a child of God. You don't need that ladder to get to God. You can talk to God directly and God will answer you. Okay? So don't be scared. All you need is to ask for forgiveness. Tell the Lord to forgive your sins. Oh Lord, I am sorry. Wipe out my sins. Forgive me. With that, you are qualified, overqualified to assess any blessing from God. As far as you make up your mind, you make that resolution not to go back to your evil ways again. You are most welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are seeing my face for the first time, may God bless you. My name is Henrietta. I come here to share with you powerful spiritual tips that would help you. Help you grow in all areas of your life. Help you attract your blessing, financial blessing, marital blessing, all areas of blessing. I teach you how to pray and how to assess your blessing from God. So all you need to do is to join us. Please join us. Subscribe and make sure you tap the bell notification. There is a tiny bell beside the subscribe button. Tap it and tap all. Make sure when you get notification, you come and watch. Okay? Okay? Testimonies are coming. Your life will be different. So if things does not work for you, maybe you struggle and struggle. I don't know what you are struggling to achieve. I don't know which area you are struggling at. No matter what you are struggling at, maybe in your business, you have been struggling for years. Yes, yet no patronage. You try one line of business, nothing is working. You leave that line, you move to her line. Nothing is working. You move to close. You move to different areas of business. Yet, what others are making money from is not giving you money. There is a problem. You need to pray for deliverance. You need to cleanse yourself from every demonic blockage. Cleanse yourself from blockage and start attracting progress and favor. If you have been struggling to get married, you have tried all your best. You have tried all your best. I know some women, they take their bath, they go to eateries, restaurants, just to meet. They make themselves available in marriages or open places or public places to see if they will meet their life partners, even for some men, but yet they are still single. At times, you meet these people with all your effort to please them, with all your effort to make them happy. You give them all you have all you can offer, but all you get is ungratefulness. They begin to use you. They begin to disrespect you. They begin to manipulate you. And at the end, they break your heart and go to another. Or you have been struggling to have a child. You have taken different treatments, drugs. You have done different things, but yet, so no matter what you are struggling at, nothing, no effort of yours is working. Maybe you have been searching for a good job. You have been searching for this job for a long time. Up until now, you are still jobless. Or maybe your loved ones, they have been struggling to make money, to get a good job, to make their work successful, but yet nothing is working. Or maybe you have been struggling with sickness. You have been sick with one ailment or the other. What have you not taken, but yet it is still there? Nothing is working. Whatever you take, it seems as if you are not even taking anything. No effect, no results. You are going to do this. When you try all your best, the owners of wasted effort is the devil. He makes sure he frustrates you. He wastes all your effort. May that not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Get a bowl of water, any kind of water, use. I'm going to read these scriptures. Psalm 9 verse 9 to 10. Psalm 9, verse 9 to 10. Use the version of the Bible that you have. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. 
O Lord, you are my refuge. The Lord is the refuge of the oppressed, of those in troubles, of those in trouble, of those experiencing difficulty. O Lord, I am experiencing difficulty. I am experiencing problem. Be my refuge. Come and save me, Lord. Tell God that you are facing hard times. Tell God that you are experiencing difficulty. That things are tight for you. Things are strong for you. If you trust the Lord, He will never forsake you. Begin to pray with this Psalm 9, verse 9 to 10. Oh Lord, you are the refuge of the oppressed. Oh Lord, be my refuge. Be my help in times of trouble. Oh Lord, be my refuge. Be my rescuer. Be my refuge. Oh Lord, be my refuge. I trust in you. Do not abandon me. Do not forsake me, oh Lord. Begin to pray with that. So when you are done, also read Philippians 4 verse 19. And my God will meet all my needs according to his riches and glory. I'm trying to personalize this. Personalize this. What is there is your. And my God will meet all your needs according to his riches and glory. Oh Lord, meet all my needs. According to your riches and glory. Meet all my needs, oh Lord. I depend on you. I have no other God except you. Oh Lord, meet all my needs. I have struggled enough. I have been at one spot enough. Oh Lord, I have waited enough. Oh Lord, meet my need. There is nothing you cannot do. This problem is not impossible for you to handle. This my request is not impossible. Oh Lord, meet all my need, oh Lord. You are a rich God. You own everything. Everything on earth and in heaven belongs to God. Meet all my need, oh Lord. Oh Lord, meet my need. Oh Lord, come to my rescue. Come and give me what no man can give to me. Come and open my doors, oh Lord. Oh Lord, send forth your blessing. Oh Lord, send forth your blessing. Oh Lord, meet my need. Oh Lord, meet my desire. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray and now tell God that need. After praying that, tell God the exact things you need. What you have been struggling to achieve. That thing that you have tried your best to get, to make happen. Tell God what you need, okay? And finally, read Romans 8 verse 28. Romans 8 verse 28. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. And for those who are called according to his purpose. Oh Lord, I'm sorry if I have not shown that love for you. Help me to build my love for you. Let everything work for good for me. Oh Lord, from now on, everything will work out for good for me. Oh Lord, from now on, everything will work out for good for me. Oh Lord, from now on, let everything work for my good. Begin to pray, oh Lord, from now on, everything will work for my good. In the name of Jesus, everything will work out for me. No more failure in my life. No more delay in my life. In the name of Jesus, from now on, everything will work out for my good. From now on, everything will work out for my good. In the name of Jesus, let everything work for my good. In the name of Jesus, in my business, everything will work for my good. In my finance, everything will work for my good. In my family, in my marriage, everything will work for my good. In the name of Jesus, in my head, call out the areas you need, God. Everything will work for my good in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, bless this water. As I use this to bat, oh Lord, open my way. Open my way and remove every blockage. Destroy everything done by the evil ones to stop me. And grant me speedy answer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then you can add this to your bathing water. I know for some of you, you use shower. Okay, you use shower, but if you are doing this, do not use shower. Just fetch your water in a bucket and add this to it and use it to bath. As you are bathing, I soak my life with the blood of Jesus. I soak my life with the blood of Jesus. I am delivered in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray your heart. Use your normal soap and sponge to take your bath. Okay, when you are done taking your bath, dry yourself. This is a normal bath. You are not adding salt to this. Okay, just bless this water and use it to bath. Just bless this water and say your prayers to God. God will help you. That thing you are struggling at will be your testimony. I pray for you today that as you do this and believe in God, all of those things that you find difficult, all of those things you are struggling at, the Lord will open your doors. We give you a testimony. 
everything will work for your good in all areas of your life. Everything will work for your children, for your husband, for your wife, for your family members, for you. Everything will work for you. No more struggling in your life. No more tears. No more pain. From now on, you shall receive abundant blessing and testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do this once, just once, and continue to pray to God reading these powerful scriptures that I have shown to you. Okay? You can write them down and read them. Pray with them, even without the water, other days, and have faith. Learn to always thank God because when you thank God, you are opening doors for more miracles. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure you turn on the bell notification to always get updates. Come and watch our videos and learn. Learn how to pray. Tell us your problems. Join our live stream. And I will give you that personal guidance and counseling. Encourage you and pray with you. People are testifying. You are the next to testify. In the name of Jesus. Amen.